On this week's episode of Fish Addictions TV, this is not going to be about a destination and this is not going to be about a species of fish. This is going to be about spending time with family and friends. First we're going to head to Detroit Lakes to give you an inside look at our kids fishing derby and then head up to Coles Resort in Bemidji, Minnesota for a family fun filled weekend. Fish Addictions TV. Addiction. The fact or condition of being addicted to a particular substance, thing, or activity. An addiction is not desirable. It is something that overtakes your life. But what happens when an addiction can't be stopped? An addiction is stronger than any one drug with only one cure. The cure is not rehab. It is not medication. It is not a counselor. The only cure for us is the water beneath our feet, the rod in our hands, the anticipation of that next big bite, and the camaraderie we all share. Fish Addictions TV is brought to you by Eskimo Ice Fishing Gear. Striker Ice. Go early. Go late. Go prepared. 13 Fishing. Make your own luck. Acme Tackle. And the rest of our fine sponsors. So last year we did the first ever Fish Addictions Kids Day on the Ice. And what we did is we set up a 140 by 40 foot event tent out on Little Detroit Lake in Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. And what this all entails is we've got a 40 by 140 tent set up on the ice, a vent tent with heat in it try to keep it comfortable for all these kids to have a great experience. And uh, it's gonna take 12 guys, eight hours, to get this tent up and going and ready for Saturday. We had about 200 holes with this eye on today, six inch holes through about 14 inches of ice, 15 inches of ice. We're on our third battery, so do the math. This thing's killing it today. But last year was just kind of a test to see how many people would show up. Now we know, and now we just gotta have, we learned a lot from last year. A lot of people commented from it, so I think that'll be really good. Um, basically, that's it. Um, the weather last year was not very good to us. We started out the day with freezing rain and then it turned into blizzard conditions shortly after that. Um, with this weather conditions, we still managed to get 147 kids registered in the event. Every single kid left with a prize. Now, this year, we're looking at brutal cold temperatures. It's a high of negative 10 today, but 
we got a lot of heaters set up inside the big tent. It should be a pretty good day. Travel conditions are good and uh, we're looking for a good turnout. Introducing the new standard in high-performance electric ice augers, the Ion X, featuring the newly designed 5 amp hour XC5 battery with 66% higher storage capacity. The Ion X powers through up to 1,600 inches of ice on a single charge. That's a lot of extra holes. The all-new cast bottom cuts fresh and frozen over holes more smoothly. So easy to use, starts every time. Flush holes clean with reverse, no more scooping. No exhaust, so I drill inside my ice house. Learn more at ioniceaugers.com. At Eskimo, we engineer for performance on the ice. The HC40 is the first auger with an engine built for propane. Others use modified gas engines that don't take advantage of the higher octane propane. This high compression engine gives you superior power with less weight. Propane burns clean, and a propane engine starts easy. Our quantum blades can even cut through old holes. The Eskimo HC40, the high performance propane auger. So we flew in the ice pro from Ohio himself, Scott Albrecht, to MC this event. He kept things going from the moment we put a microphone in his hand about a half hour before registration. The guy just kept it rolling. The kids were having fun. He was getting them cheering left and right. One, two. If I had to describe Scott Albrecht to anyone that has never met him, the only term that comes to mind is unrestricted energy. Yeah, baby! Woo! So the Fish Addictions team totally rocked out today. They had a lot of kids at the Fish Addictions uh, event. 198 showed up to fish 215 holes. We were 17 kids away from being uh, completely holed out. Tell me, how excited are you? Super duper, extra duper, super duper excited? Is that pretty working? Like true blue hot chocolate excited? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, it, was, it was a really neat event, man. And, you, and it shows the dedication, you know. You talk about, uh, it's all about the kids. We're going to do ice fishing for the kids. We're going to teach kids how to ice fish. Well. 
Bitch Addictions, man, they're taking it to the next level. You can't put this type of thing together without a whole lot of support and a whole lot of guys backing you. And that's how they figured out uh, how to do it. So no, it was, it was a great event. Not only a lot of the kids that come here are not, well, this will be their first time out, but a lot of the parents, because they had never grew up with it, they have never fished in their life before either. So what we're trying to do is introduce the kids to the event. It's for them, but this is also for the parents and to show them everything about the sport that can be enjoyable, spending the time with the kids, the family, just getting out of the house and away from all the electronics and hustle bustle of everyday life. We had an awesome turnout today. We had 198 kids register, and every single kid that showed up left with a prize. Look, well, you just caught a huge sword in the plate. How sweet is that? <laughs> yeah, is ice fishing cool? Growing up, I had you know an awesome opportunity that I had a family that loved to fish, and I like to share that with a lot of people. And you know, having all the kids coming out this weekend is a great opportunity to introduce them to you know fishing. Putting on an event like this, such as the Kids Fishing Day, is an unbelievable experience. Um, I'm mostly excited just to have all these kids out here and spread the word about ice fishing. So I think it's pretty special. It's a very rewarding experience to have so many kids out um, and interacting with them, seeing the smiles on their faces and catching fish and just, just hanging out with that many future anglers in the sport of ice fishing. It's very rewarding and it's something I really enjoy doing. We just got done packing up the kids fishing derby, now we're loading up, heading north to have a fun family weekend. Hey everyone, it's Cole Karski with Fish Addictions. I'm here today to tell you about the four different ways I hook a minnow on your rattle reels, dead sticks, bobber rods. First way is the old classic right behind the dorsal fin. A lot of guys use this and sometimes this is the only one that they use. Second way I like to do it is a real deep tail hook. What happens with this is the minnow will sit at a downward angle and it'll really struggle to stay up because it doesn't want to be pointing down. Uh, with this, you'll have to change minnows a little bit more often because they'll wear themselves out. The third way I'll rig a minnow is I'll take a horizontal sitting jig and I'll rig it right through the lips. With this presentation, you'll have to give the fish a little bit more time to get the entire minnow in their mouth. And the final way I'll do this is if it's a real finicky bite, I'll take a jig and I'll hook it right in front of the dorsal fin just under the skin 
and up through. This way the middle sits at, a sa at the same angle as the jig and it just has slight subtle movements. This is my finicky bite technique. Sometimes just changing up the way the middle is hooked on your, on your lure is the difference between having a taker and a looker. This is Cole Carsey with Fish Fictions. Tight lines everyone. Hi, I'm Pat Kovash, owner of Kovash Marine. Proud sponsor of Fish Addictions. We're very happy to have Fish Addictions running our new 203 with our 350 Verado. Equipped with the Mercury Yamaha or a Suzuki with the Warrior Boat is always a winning combination. Come on in and check out our great service department at Kovash Marine. Whether it's custom rigging, engine rebuilding, or routine maintenance, we can handle it at Kovash Marine. Come check us out at kovashmarine.com or 1417 First Avenue North in Moorhead. And remember, when experience matters, call Kovash Marine. Thirteen fishing, make your own luck. We at Eskimo are just like you, up early to take the morning commute to our favorite fishing hole. We understand your days on the ice, enjoying peacefulness and solitude are limited, and we believe our gear needs to work all the time, which is why we are backing all of our power augers with the first ever five-year warranty. Nobody sells more power ice augers than Eskimo. Get assurance. Get reliability. Get Eskimo. You know, it's such a cool experience to be traveling all over the upper Midwest, ice fishing in all these cool locations, but this has got to be one of my favorite weekends. We get to hang out with the family, do a little ice fishing, and just have a bunch of fun with everybody that's put a lot of time and effort into this, and, and it's, it's priceless. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Good job, bud. Give me five. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is my first fish on the ice. First time ever ice fishing, first time on the ice, first fish out of the ice. What do you think of that? Awesome. You know, the, the opportunity to be able to bring the family up and do something like this is, is just extraordinary. You know, myself, I'm guiding all year long doing tournaments throughout the summer and there's times where I just, I don't get to see them hardly at all. So an opportunity like this to get them all here together with us fishing and having fun like this and staying up here at the resort, it's just, it's just wonderful for me. Keep lifting up a little bit. There you go. Perfect. Now just keep digging it right there. Uh, just the joy of watching her when she realized that she had something a little bit bigger than the little perch that we'd been catching. You know, just watching her smile and her expression made the whole trip worthwhile for me. Jake, you like fishing? Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's always a good time. Make sure to put kids on a place where they're gonna have a lot of fun and don't push them. That's what we're doing today. We're out here, we're just gonna fish for a while, not push them to their limits, but just enough so they have fun. Got one? It was great to have all the other staffers bring their family and their kids out and really see the kids enjoying the outdoors and bringing back some memories that I had of when I was a kid, fishing with my dad, and what really hooked us all into the sport and creating the next generation of outdoorsmen. We're out here with families, kids, wives, girlfriends. It's nice to take a break from the running and gunning fishing we like to do here at Fish Addictions and be able to take our families out 
and get on the ice with them and let everyone else enjoy the fishing and spend a little quality time. Uh, it's nice to get up in these Eskimo houses, stay warm and get on some, some nice fish. Guys, here's a quick tip on taking kids fishing. Now we've got all the kids out here fishing on the ice. Now one thing we did was we came out beforehand, set up the tents, got them heated, got the holes drilled so when the kids arrived, they were ready to go fishing. Now one of the most important things I think you can do is make sure the kids aren't forced to be fishing. The kids are super excited to be out here, get a pole, wet a pole, but you may get only 15, 20 minutes of interest out of them. So what we like to do is have a few things extra planned for the kids to do, whether it's jumping on the snowmobile and taking a quick ride around the lake, or whether it's snacks, or whether it's just outside playing with each other. The number one thing, keep them interested. That's just a quick tip from us here at Fish Addictions. Now it's a really cold day outside and we had to hunker down in the Eskimo hubs. But we had the snowmobiles out on the ice and the kids saw the sleds attached to the snowmobiles and immediately they just wanted to jump into the sleds and be pulled around and they were toughing it out with the cold and the wind and having the times of their lives being pulled around behind the sled. We've been out here catching fish for a couple hours now. Kids are starting to lose interest. Now it's time for us to have fun. Yeah, you know kids, they don't care if it's cold. All they want to do is have fun and watching them out there rolling around the snowmobiles, you know, negative 35 degrees and they had no care. All that's all they wanted to do was just have that fun. Stick with us. Stick with us. Stick with us. Stick with us for more Fish Addictions TV. Fish Addictions TV is brought to you by Eskimo Ice Fishing Gear. Striker Ice. Go early. Go late. Go prepared. 13 Fishing. Make your own luck. Acme Tackle. And the rest of our fine sponsors. Being here at Coles Resort in Bemidji, Minnesota is great. We step into the cabins and you have the Northwoods feel atmosphere with the nice pine and it was a great way to just relax the weekend with my family and my fish addictions family. We got done fishing on the lake, came back and I tell you what, you should have seen how happy the kids were when I said, hey kids, we'll grab your suits, we're gonna go ahead to the pool and the hot tub and have some fun this evening. Travis, we had a hot tub, you talked me into it, it was amazing sitting in there, but I'll tell you what, man, you're one sick cookie to get out of that hot tub and go jump in the snow. It was cold, but I tell you what, getting back in there, whew, that was exhilarating. It's a great atmosphere. The cabin atmosphere is amazing. It feels like home. They're very accommodating. They got a swimming pool, video games for the kids, which is awesome, especially in the middle of winter. Just hanging out with a great group of friends, you know, shooting the breeze, watching TV, eating, playing cards, just hanging out as a family and friends. It's great. You know, part of what we stand for here at Fish Addictions is getting the youth out on the ice and whether it's our kids fishing derby where we have 200 kids on the ice or just getting our own kids out on the ice, it's such an experience and a humbling portion of what we do 
just to bring the love of fishing to that next generation. So as being a father, you know, when you see that passion that you have for fishing passed down to, the, to your kids, there's nothing like it. There's so many things I could say about it, but you know, it's, it's one of those things that just blows my mind to see the determination that the kids have to want to get out there and fish, even though like yesterday it was 35 below and they still want to get out there and get some fish. It was, you can't explain that. Uh, family means the world to everyone. You have kids and a wife that you love dearly and when you're gone and you get chances like this to come together and just connect on a different level than you have at home is something that words can't even explain. So growing up, I got to get out in the outdoors fishing, hunting with my dad and my grandpa, and that was amazing. So now I like to do that with my daughter, get her out there. It's amazing. I mean, that's our next generation of kids, you know, hunters and fisher people that are being out there. Get them out there, get them away from the TVs, the video games. It's exciting. They get something rewarding out of it, but they're not going to be kids forever. So do yourselves a favor, do them a favor, and get them in the outdoors.